Love causes penetration. Daddy made me conceive. Get lost in the music or suck my cock. A local musician was heard saying to his band members as they forgot what they were there for and only wanted fame. But this band member wasn't having any of it because what he could do is amazing. We rub all night to get lucky. We rub all night to get some. If you bang your chair into the wall, you can automatically be called a retort. Now, now, Hank, that's not very nice, is it? Well, I seem to think that it is, and in my neck of the woods, what I says goes, you hear me? I don't hear shit, or that's what they want me to say. They would want you to believe that the doctors have fixed me, but when I broke, I broke for good, and ain't no amount of super glue gonna put me back together again, cause like Humpy Dumpty, I have been fucking dropped from my record label. Oh, really, mommy? I never knew you were Lady Gaga. Julian is here now. Who the fuck is Julian? Well, he's the guy that I've set you up on a date with. You little bitch, how dare you? I told you I can't chose the men I sleep with. Yeah, well, the men you bring home clash with my furniture. Bitch, you clash with the furniture. Why don't you get rid of yourself? You'd like that very much, wouldn't you? I can tell you what I can smell the happiness. How can you smell happiness? Happiness smells like rose water. I guess you're right, mommy, I guess you're fucking right, but just this once I'll have you know. Does your sister do drugs? I don't know, I don't have a sister, but does your sister do drugs? Cause if she is, she can fund this trip to Portofino that you're going on. No, 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 sister doesn't do drugs, okay? Listen to me, you little freak, if the police hear any accusations like that, they will come and knock on her door and take her the fuck away like tapeworm. They won't take her away unless she is doing anything illegal. I took myself to my friend's last night and he poured me a glass of wine and then proceeded to tell me he buried his ex in the back garden because he came around demanding custody of their favorite watermelon. You don't have any friends. Mommy, were you high? No, and I resent the thought. A terrified ripped shirt was scared to death after it was caught staring at a shiny new t-shirt on the window and everyone laughed at it and taunted it and told it that it would be better off dead because death is always the better option, you know. Take off your clothes, take off all of your clothes, come on and take them off and make me a happy girl. Why do you keep saying this? I heard you saying that late last night while you were in your bedroom being relatively quiet until you had that kind of outburst. I burst out of my corset and was ready to have a good old time. A clock was struck and it never worked again in the local clockatorian was stumped as to how it got struck but when people do it wrong they don't know what they're doing and then clocks get injured and people get jumpy and people jump pineapples from behind because they don't taste as sweet as they look. I am as sweet as I look. You look like a Dutch hooter. Precisely. A horrid whore was made feel like a piece of shit because that is exactly what it was until it found the receipt and returned itself to the shop and became an honorable citizen again. Citizen Kane. What's in store for the local whores? Probably a teasing of such. I remember getting touched by an orange when I was a little girl living on a citrus farm in the Spanish countryside. And what did it feel like to be touched by an orange? It felt very very fruity mighty tasty and fruity. You are a fucking fruitcake. All hail Queen Fruitcake. Save me from a fate worse than death, please. The third degree. Seven snakes were caught gathering over the toilet in a local airplane in the early hours of this morning. Reports started swirling around the airplane that something sly was going on in the toilets, but they thought that whore had gotten lucky cause they were up all night to get some. Give in to my selfish demands the local shoplifter was heard telling the well-respect bank owner as he closed up shop and hopped into his car to go home to his seven rooms of sin in each room there was a different sin but because everything is a sin in Cuntland I don't think that those seven rooms were sinful. We really do hate Cuntland don't we? We sure fucking do Hank and I swear if we took out the Queen Bee Brenda that her anarchy would fall down and everyone would lead happy productive lives. Come on mommy let's go. I'll get the chainsaw and we can take that bitch out with her family. Yippee.